Welcome to another SMC technical training video. In this video we will show you how to hook up an IOLINK EX260 serial interface with the PLC of your choosing. During the video we will show you the equipment configuration and the steps required to complete them. In the end we will turn the power on to make sure that everything works. Let's get started. These are the parts and part numbers that you will need to connect your IOLINK EX260 to your PLC. Please refer to our past videos for tools and for typical EX260 assembly. First, thread the IOLINK cable to the EX260 using the M12 connector. Then connect the other end to the commercial IOLINK master. Before moving on, make sure the EX260 is grounded. Next, Thread the power cable into the IOLINK master. And on the other end, strip the wires and connect them to the power supply accordingly. Polarity does matter. Then, make the field bus connection with the IOLINK master using this M12 connector. And on the other end, plug the RJ45 connector into the switch. To connect the PLC to the network, in our case, plug the RJ45 connector into the switch and then plug the other RJ45 connector into the PLC. Finally, connect the PC to the network via its Ethernet RJ45 port and plug the other end into the switch. Now we're ready to put power to the EX260, IOLINK Master, PLC, and the switch. We need to check device connectivity. Turn on the power. And let's look for lights and communication. We have them there, and there, there, and there. Now we're ready for the next step. We hope you found this video useful. In the next video, we'll configure the EX260 with the IOLINK Master for PLC communication and control.